This video will lead you through importing your newly added wall station into the SERPAC database without the use of third party software. So, as we normally do, we would open up our survey database. And now we want to go to survey, data recorders, and SERPAC format. This is all within SERPAC, no need for third party importing software. So we need to navigate to our SDF file, SERPAC data format file, and I'll create an archive card for that for our QIQC. Yep, we're processing resection, apply. And now for my new survey, uh, this will, what my survey report will be called, so we'll call this an uh, add station. Adding station. So now we've got all of our observations that we've done in the field, our three point resection. And it's important that you list the first observation that you took in the field as your preferred backsite. So a bit of field procedure involved in this is what SERPAC uh, is asking you to do. And now we'll apply that. 100, that was our TP. No, we're not going to insert that into the database. Skip past. 700 minus 4, yep, that's the station we just uh, added. And so now, yep, we're going to insert that one into our database. It's an underground station. So we're going to put it into our 7 level, 700 the level area code for that. Uh, and these fields, such as survey, or survey date, and other fields can be extracted from the SDF file that has been exported from the Trimble controller. Apply. Now that we've applied, our resection report has popped up. We get all these oodles of information. So here's our stations that we used, our unadjusted observations. We go down, there's uh, accuracies of the instrument, everything you want to see in the resection report. So here's our station and your residuals less than it's all zeros and now we go through down to what we really want to see is our added station so we've got our observations going uh, backside four side angles slope distance all the raw data that has been now added into our station database so it's number 700 minus four here's our cohorts and now we have, can compare that to our survey report exported from the Trimble controller. And you can compare, so you can either use your SERPAC Travis report or you can use survey report in Trimble, which I find very, uh, very informative. Here's our final station reduced points. That's what we're after here is our survey station. And you can see the new station has been added in certain database here. Same cohorts. Okay, now let's go and check our database, do a query that it's in there. So there's multiple ways, as you know. We'll go survey stations and we'll view our table. We'll look at our stations. So I'll leave it blank, it'll show everything. All right, so now we can see that we've got 700 minus four, it's been inserted and there's our that from our TP100 and you've got all the necessary data that comes in with it. So survey date, station order, everything that's been extracted from that uh, SERPAC data file and been input when you did your survey. Alternatively, say you want to show it on screen with what we've got already. So I'll create a station string and I'll apply that I want to do it by level 700, level area that we input before. Let's have a look, pull that in. So 701, two that we use, three, and then there's number four, and we'll pull that in against our level. So you can see now are my stations and my new station added. Very quick, very simple, very easy in Trimble Access, 
using your Trimble Underground solution in the Mines module and into Surpac. Not a problem at all. To learn more about this function and to arrange a demo at your mine, contact sales at hlgs.com.au or dustin at hlgs.com.au.